So another cage here, a very functional cage. It's not particularly pretty to look at, but these are glow spot roaches and they are very happy in here for many years. My culture of Lucy Hormetica, sometimes also called Hormetica for the genus. See the males there? They have these glow spots on them, which gives the species its common name in the pet hobby. Go in there a little closer. It's said that something in their diet and nature bacteria, perhaps, actually allows them to glow those two spots. I put this jelly cup in here just a little while ago, a couple hours ago, and I wasn't necessarily planning on making a video of this species tonight, but you can see the progress that they've made in that jelly cup. Looks like there's really only room for one in there, and so the one on top can't quite access the food in the way it wants to. This is a really attractive species. Dark brown to black with that glossy sheen to it. And then up there on the pronotum, that area behind the head, that sort of shield-shaped portion of the body. Some orange markings. These are females here. It's the males that have the glow spots. And then those wing buds. They don't cover the body like they do in Blabberus and other hobby species like the Gynalurida, the porcelain roaches. But they definitely give this roach a unique look. And then some orange markings there at the end of the abdomen. Let me back this off a little bit here and you can see how much of that jelly cup they've consumed in the past couple hours. I just, upon opening this cage a moment ago, sprinkled some more fish food pellets in there, these little bite-sized pieces. And those are particularly important for the nymphs. This is a slow-growing species, but they're very long-lived once they hit maturity. Live a couple years after they reach this point right here. Those nymphs weren't as small as they get. Those are probably second end stars. Definitely one of the most attractive species in the hobby, and they're also known for being really good for handling. A lot of roaches are very skittish and will sort of slide out of your hand very quickly. These ones here, more like hissing cockroaches. Slower moving, still pretty active. You can see that this one is missing a little bit of the tip of its front left leg, and so this one could be a couple years old now, and that's hampering its mobility just a little bit, but she'll continue to reproduce in here. Some other ones out here. That's another female. Let's see if we can find a large nymph. I mean, this is a really really healthy culture of them here. Very glossy through the whole life cycle. More adults. Well, here's a good sized nymph that you can see that in the case of this and a lot of insects, the subadult, the larval phases, right before they become adults, they actually get a little bit larger than the adult itself looks sometimes. And that's because a lot of that stored up energy in their bodies goes into making wings and reproductive organs and things like that. You can really see the pretty orange head on this one here. I recycle a lot of things. These are drink carriers, of course, and they work out really well in roach containers. A lot of roach species like to climb up the edge of these and shed their skin. Not quite as important in these glow spot roaches, but a lot of the winged species actually do better when they have a platform like this to molt off of. And of course, this is easy, easily replaced. 
course the roaches don't care too much that it gets dirty like this. 